using stem cells to find drugs for ALS. To begin this process, a tiny biopsy of skin is taken from a patient with ALS. The patient's skin cells grow in a petri dish in the laboratory. A combination of genes is then introduced into the dish. These genes reprogram the patient's skin cells to become pluripotent stem cells or iPS cells. The iPS cells, which are now capable of becoming any cell type in the body, are exposed to two transcription factors. These factors, which are present during normal human development, direct iPS cells to differentiate into motor neurons, the very cells that die in ALS. iPS cells also allow scientists to make unlimited numbers of astrocytes, another type of brain cell implicated in ALS. Motor neurons and astrocytes from ALS patients are now being used to screen large libraries of FDA-approved drugs and chemical compounds. IPS cells, which contain patient DNA, will allow us to model ALS more accurately than ever before. These cells will also improve our odds of identifying effective ALS drugs in the short term. Because it is impossible to remove motor neurons from a patient's brain or spinal cord, IPS motor neurons have given Project ALS scientists and doctors a first ever look at human motor neurons that have ALS. Today, the Project ALS Jennifer Estes Laboratory for Stem Cell Research has derived stem cell lines from over 50 patients.